knew it for a potential breakthrough discovered by researchers at the University of Arizona that could give more blind people their sight back. KLD News 13's Barbara Grijalva is live at the U of A with more on this groundbreaking research. This is amazing. Barb? Oh yes, Craig, this is nothing short of helping blind people, some blind people, actually see again. The technology is here. In fact, the FDA recently approved a retinal implant to help people whose retinas have been damaged by disease. But a scientist here at the University of Arizona believes he and his colleagues have come up with a way to make those implants even better, to actually help blind people see a bird flying through the sky. Imagine once having sight, but then becoming blind because of disease. A new implant can help people see, but for now, they can see only light and vague shapes. Current implant carriers cannot make out a black object against a bright sky, for example, a bird or a plane flying by. University of Arizona scientist Dr. Wolfgang Fink and his colleagues are developing software that can make the current retinal implants even better, letting a person see that bird or plane. With our technology, uh, patients will be able to track that and see this. Fink is working to help patients who have lost their sight because of retinitis pigmentosa or macular degeneration. The artificial retinas basically work by using a camera, a processor, it could be a smartphone, and a chip in the eye. Basically what the processing unit does is takes the camera image, makes it into a format communicable by the chip, and we then stimulate in a way that the patient sees what the processing unit has generated. What you would want to know is the outline of a person, the silhouette of a person. You would want to know where the frame is of a door so that you can actually find the door. Using the smartphone, a patient would be able to manipulate the image to make it more comfortable to look at, depending on the patient's needs. Fink wants to improve the quality of life of patients, make it easier to navigate the world to a certain degree. But there's more something that really can't be measured. To make out faces of loved ones, you know, even capture emotions in people, you know, by looking at the facial expression. That would be phenomenal. And that is something which is attainable. Now, Dr. Fink think, thinks that his new and improved artificial vision could be ready in two to five years. And looking to the future, he says this concept of his could maybe be applied to things like Parkinson's disease and to, to epilepsy, even to help people who have paralysis. Reporting live from the University of Arizona, Barbara Grijalva, KOLD News 13, live, local, late breaking. Thanks,